Hello and welcome to another Nicometeo tutorial. Uh, last tutorial we did this uh, this picture here, something like this picture. And I promised in my last tutorial, uh, we, next tutorial I will show you how we can make something like this pine cone here. Uh, yes, it's not so easy as I thought, but <laughs> let's try it. Uh, I have not really found a way until now, but I but, uh, have two ways and, and we will the first way is uh, with mo extrude and the second way is with cloner and the cloner way is the better one I think uh, for me it's the better one I show you uh, first the mo extrude thing so let's start I started with a uh, cylinder at the size, at the size does not matter at the moment, but 25 and 10 and 16 segments here. Then I made it editable, so when hit C on your keyboard or as I do it, you know it. Meanwhile, with my edit optimize, not my script, but but with my the plugin. It's not my script. You have the script in the dis in the description of the video, you yeah. as ever. So okay, or you hit C on your keyboard and go into point mode, right click and optimize everything. So then, what did I then? I select every second point here. just to get a little shape of this leaves or whatever it's called so something like that then I go to here so not this one so, then, so diagonal and every second point okay and this I move up something like this then yeah, I go in the edge mode and these longer edges I select all this these edges here this and when they are selected right click and dissolve so now we have this uh, shapes here and this is exactly what I want so I go in the polygon mode and UL for loop selection and select this polygons and now I set the selection I want to save this selection so I, I have it here in my toolbar set selection and here we get the selection tag you will find this set selection here under select and set selection to so the next thing is I go to Mo graph and here Mo extrude I hold the shift key with the cylinder selected hold the shift key and click on it and get a nice big chaos chaos so I go to my extrude here and here we have a polygon selection slot and here I drag my polygon selection in. Now I have this one. Here now I can play with the extrude, with the more extrude in the transform. I can play with the leaves and do it like this. Okay, and this this is the bottom of our cone or pine cone then I copy this cylinder just copy it so uh, you select it hold your control key on your keyboard and just drag it up or down again <laughs> drag it wherever you want now I have this cylinder and this I want to move about 10 up and R for the little rotation, something like that. Ok, 
okay. Uh, now I want to make this this one, the first one, here a little shorter. Something. Like, no. This is okay. Nice. And again we can copy this one. D for moving it up. Then go to the extrude and play with the, this here. And so on. And so you can shape your uh, your oops your cone here. So like this. Now you can put this uh, everything in a, a null object, so Alt G to group it. And this null object is a subdivision surface, Alt subdivision surface, and you get something like this. Looks quite nice, yes. And you can uh, go up, 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 and uh, bend it in another way and something else. But this way I don't like because um, it is too symmetrical. So I want to, to rotate a little bit this this uh, leaves here and not just... I can here rotate it of course, but I can rotate it in this direction, can rotate it in this direction, but it's everything the same. It's uh, too symmetrical for me. And uh, now I'll try it with the cloner. And with the cloner, I have uh, more uh, possibilities to uh, the settings. I can play with the random deformer and bring a random uh, rotations and something else. And so, let's uh, delete this. We don't need it anymore. And try this thing with the cloner. But with the cloner, uh, make a new document. It's an. I do it in another way. First, I make the shape. And the shape, uh, let's make it uh, like, uh, yeah, let's make it with this four side. Then just hit C for to, to uh, convert it. Then I take this guy here and whoop, move it down. And this move it down a little bit so something like that. With this point, right click and camfer, chamfer, whatever. Something like that. And here and here I chamfer a little bit too. So let's see this is my shape for the leaf. The next is I want to uh, center the axis. Here I have the magic center. You will find this plugin. All, all these plugins I show you here, they are free here in my toolbar. And uh, you will find every link in the description. So, and you can, if you don't want to do this with the uh, script here, you can go here to the uh, mesh axis center. And here you can send center object to center axis, view center. And here you can go and set your center to what, whatever you want. And here everything to, to null and execute will bring it exactly in the middle of the object. And now we set PSR, so I have everything on the null in the viewport. Reset PSR, where you do find the reset PSR? I don't know where you find the reset PSR. But you can press Shift C, and here just hit it Enter, Reset, PSR, and you can you have it here, and just double click on it, and it does the same like uh, like here my Reset PSR. Okay. Next is I want a helix spline. Helix spline, helix spline, helix spline. And here, I want just I want a straight spline. So here in the radius, I get null, null, and now I have a 200 centimeter straight spline. 
And I prefer this spline, uh, this, this helix spline, because I can play with the subdivisions here. That means uh, I have on this spline, I have now 100 points. And I can w uh, uh, bend it very nice and everything. I don't need 100 points, but so I have to control over the point, how many points I have on my spline and then end. So 10 points should be enough here. And now I go to my foresight here. This is the profile of my sweep nerve. So I make a sweep nerve. So, so just select uh, the foresight, then go to the sweep nerve, hold your Alt key on the keyboard and place on the sweep nerve. And here, this is the path. Okay, that's not exactly what I want. So now I go to my foresight, and here in the axis mode, I want to, to uh, change the axis of my of my foresight. So I hit R, and let's see how we can change this to wrong direction. Wrong direction. Of course, this is the right direction. Uh, maybe it's Sunday, and Sunday and hot and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and one excuse after the other. <laughs> so, <coughs> sorry. Okay, we have now this thing here. The next is uh, I want in the sweep. I want here an end gone, so it's not so ugly. So go to the caps, and end gone. Okay. And here I don't need so many points, so this is the, these are the points of this foresight. Uh, let's see, this is our profile. Okay. And here from ad by adaptive is okay, but go for to 20 degrees is more than enough. Because we put it later in a subdivision surface. And here with the helix spline, now I can show you what I mean. I have here exactly on the spline, exactly 10 points. And here I can now play very nice with the points, if I need more, if I need less. And that's great, you can do it with, with a normal uh, uh, straight spline, so you have the first point and the last point and that's it. Yeah, you can select first and last point and then subdivide, 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 and then if you need less, delete the points again, <laughs> but that's the, the big advantage of this uh, helix spline. So 10 is okay. And now I want to bend this. Uh, come on, back. I want to bend this a little bit. So I need my bend deformer. No, first, yeah. Okay, let's let's take our bend deformer here. And to get uh, uh, close to the shape, I put this bend deformer once under my helix spline here and now I press fit to parent so I have the length and everything and put it again up and now I just can here 50-50 so I have the length of this uh, and, the, and the exact position of this spline and so that we can uh, bend the sweep nerves we, we can't just put it under the, like we did it on, to do it normally with, with normal objects, it's not a possibly with the sweep nerve. But it's possible if we put the sweep nerves and the bend deformer both in a null object. So select both and Alt G. And now, if we work with the bend deformer, now we can work with the sweep too. Okay, we see that's the wrong way. So, okay, R on the bend deformer, with the bend deformer selected. And like this. Here I have every time problems to find the right angle and everything. But I think now it's okay. And 108. What's what to do to do to come on? Hundred eighty. Yeah, that's what I want. I want it from here, from the center, up to the end. Okay, and now I want to make it like this, so that we we cover the length of this. Okay, that's nice. And we don't need so much, I think. So. 
for the moment at least. So the next thing I want, I want it a little smaller on the beginning of that of this spine and at the end bigger. So I go to my sweep, go to my object here and details and here we have a scale. And with this scale we, we can scale our sweep nerves, you see. And here I want it a little smaller. That's okay, fine. And the next thing I want, I want here a fillet cap, a fillet cap, or whatever. So I go to my caps, cap, fillet cap, and say 5, 10. Okay, this shall be my leaf now. Okay, we have here this, this edge, but uh, as I said, we give this later in a subdivision surface and everything will be nice and smooth, nice, round, smooth, and so on. Next thing, we take this whole null object and put it in a cloner. So, MoGraph, cloner, so select your null, go to the cloner, Alt key on your keyboard and press it. And the cloner we need in the radial, Oops, come on. Here. And you accept. Nice. And the minus direction. Something like this here. Okay. So you can make flowers and everything. So. But 5 is to less. I think we will make 8. And you don't have to be so exact because uh, we get so many of them and, and you never make a render with, with this cone uh, in a, in a close-up. So you're, you're far away and, and so you don't see if you have some spaces between or something. Okay, this is the first one. Now the next one. We take this cloner and copy it. So, but I named this the, uh, this the layer one, the one just now control and drag it up to and E for move and move it up a little bit, then uh, rotate it a little bit. So, so like this, okay. And now I want this the next with the helix spline. We can work wonderful with the helix spline. I want now this this, this layer one uh, shorter, not not so long leaves. So, so I go here, go to my helix spline, and just play with the height here. Go with the height back, and you see we are very flexible with this helix spline. Now let's. Go with the second one a little up again. Maybe bend it more. Let's see. We have here a lot of options. Yes. And now we can go to our cloner, transform, and transform it in. Which direction ever? Something like this. Make a smaller radius. Okay, maybe a little down with the cloner. It's a little work to make this, but but uh, it's worth the work, I think. This we can make smaller, even smaller. But we can change this later on, so I make this a little longer, or better this <laughs> more, <laughs> more short. So, okay, maybe here, make the 
sweep smaller we can make it in the other side sweep so we have a lot of setting uh, set setting position uh, possibilities maybe that's too many leaves so it's no problem too let's go to the second one and check the radius smaller R for the rotation so and now before we uh, continue with this uh, I want to show you what I meant with the random deform of course I go to my first cloner select it and go to MoGraph effector random effector and name this random I uh, know which one is one, which one is which. <laughs> so I don't need the position, but I want a little rotation. Maybe so. Something like this and something like this. Just a little bit so it doesn't look so 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 symmetrically. Now I copy this cloner. Two, go to this cloner, effectors, and drag the effector in here. And here I have just give the effector another seed. So you see, okay. Something like that, and I don't want to see uh, this bent deformers. And for this, I show you a nice trick. And so, we have uh, uh, imagine we have now we are ready, and we have about seven, eight, nine cloners. And now I decide I want, I don't want to see this 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 bent deformers. And the next, yeah, and so uh, I would have to go through and, and open it, the paint deformer, chuck, the, don't want to see it. And we can do it in an easy way. Here, this symbol here, it's, I think it shall be a closed eye or something. If you, uh, if you click on it, we can search for our things. We have here the paint deformer. We see we have two paint deformers in our scene. And I just double click on it, and now every paint deformer is selected. And now it comes here under select, selection filter, create a selection object. If you hit this, we get a selection object, and you see in this object we have these two paint deformers. You can close this, and now if I click here to restore selection. I'm in the in this in the settings of these two paint deformers, and if I go to the basic now and say visible in editor, off, you see everything is off. You see it now, here it's off, and here it's off. And if I go to the selection again, restore selection, and do the same, you will see now we have here off, and visible in editor on, screen default you see so you can if you have uh, 20 of these paint deformers or something else and you say no I don't want to see it you don't have to make it you can do it this way so it's a very very nice way and of course if you have now uh, you go to selection deck and if you have now another paint deformer another paint deformer you can, can drag paint deformers in here too it's no problem okay but now I want just to Select this to paint the formulas, visible editor of uh, forgot to restore the selection, visible in editor of OK. So now I delete this. This was just for showing you. The next is we copy. Let's put this uh, cloner in a in an null object. So we uh, 
Later on we can put the whole null object in one subdivision surface and so we don't have to put every cloner in a subdivision surface. So let's Alt G, select this and Alt G. Let's bind cone. Okay. Now copy this one. O3. Go up. Rotate it a little bit. Now we can go a little bigger, but here with the helix plane, object and the height. Okay. The next one layer check. Four. E, da dum, R. Don't forget and play a little bit. Here we have now in the third one, I forgot with the random deformer, we have the random deformer in O2. So just copy here a deformer, name it O3. Go to here, delete this one, and put in this one. And go back to this and just again hit play with the seed. Okay. Then we do the same with the fourth here. Copy this one. Four. Go back to here and just drag it in. And play with the seed. Here with the seed. Okay, so something like this. Okay, now I want to make this even smaller here. And That's the nice thing on this, we, we can play very nice with settings. We could uh, quite easy do a, a rig for this, so we can make with an espresso and, and yeah, it overlaps a little bit, so go to my sweep and make it closer here. Okay, 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 okay. Make this for the first one longer a little bit. So I make it too long. Okay. Another one. Five. I'm sure there is an, a simpler way to make this cone, but uh, I wouldn't know now at the moment how. But we don't need it simple. We are professionals. We like the hard way. So then come here a little bit. Whoops. So. Make the radius a little smaller. E, go down here. Okay. And next one. Now let's make a randomness here. Random five. Going up. 5 here, drag the 5 in and delete the 4th, 
and play with the seed a little bit so and I would say we make one more and then you'll know the, the way how, how it works <laughs> you can make however how many you want you can play the whole day making and stacking So, but here I don't want so much, uh, not so many, not too much, let's see, 5 is ok, and then like this, something uh, like this, And okay. Yeah, looks nice. And one more with about two last leaves. First, copy this one here. Okay. Six effectors. Whoop. And bye bye. Seed it. Maybe rotate this one a little bit again. So, and the last one. Seven. Whoop. Make this now. Yes, so let's see. A uh, three. A3 uh, is okay. And helix not so high. Whoop. Rotate it a little bit. Okay, and I would say we have a pine cone. Let's see. Of course, if you <laughs> put more effort in it looks better but uh, I just want to show you how the way how you can do it but we are not ready uh, uh, the next thing what's uh, not so easy with this bank on is uh, to texture it a uh, nice so you see in the uh, origin the, the uh, tips are lighter than the, the, the insides and we want to try this too first that we have everything up nice and clear. Let's make here an seven. Put it in, delete this one, and such as seed it, seed it. Okay. And now we can take this pine cone and put everything together, select it and Alt key and subdivision surface. R. Okay. Here maybe we make it. We can make in the in the inside. We can make an uh, uh, no, come on, a cylinder or a capsule. To, to cover this 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 uh, this spaces between yeah let's make this one out let's make it with a cylinder yeah, so somewhere in the middle here So now we have a cylinder here. The top ones here I want to make it longer now. And let's deactivate our subdivision surface. And just it down 
Okay. Our rotation. Maybe don't. Match so so hey, you can play and play and play. Hey, we have in cinema for day we have an 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 carrot uh, in parametric carrot or something else okay this was again my father on the walkie talkie and to remind, him to remind me for the formula one <laughs> okay so now i want to show you how to uh, texture these guys Okay, 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 but what we don't need at the moment, we don't need our cylinder, we don't need this whole, uh, just show it on the first one here now. Mm, let's, let's make then. Just make the radius. That's my problem. If I start some, once with this, and I can't stop to, to refine and refine and refine. <laughs> so. How it looks now is this ones. Maybe they are too long now. Helix. Okay, <laughs> stop it. <laughs> no, I can't stop it. So, but now I stop it. <coughs> Sorry. Okay. Uh, let's save this first. Fine, come. What to do? Okay. Then let's see what we have uh, in my textures. This one is okay. Uh, you will get this project file and you will get the texture as well. So, just drag it on the first cloner. Okay. We are now in the UV mode and in the UV mode it won't work. We have a problem. We see this and this. Yeah, that's the next one. I, I forgot this uh, for the, this. Uh, the, that's important for the subdivision surface too, because I've seen before that it's, I didn't like the subdivision surface like it looks now. We have to make on the sweep nerves a single object, and so we go to caps and create single object. And now, haha, <laughs> and now the selection filter comes in handy. Uh, I would need it on every sweep nerve, so I would have to make every sweep nerve now, uh, to search every sweep nerve, open it, and make this one. <laughs> but, we know, we go to our closed eye here, somewhere we have the sweep nerves here, and we have seven sweep nerves in our scene, double click the sweep nerve, everything is selected, and now, select selection filter create selection object 
and we have every sweep in it. And now I can go to restore selection and have every sweep selected. Go to the object of the sweep. Oh, to the caps is okay, that's right. Create single object. And now every sweep nerf is created, uh, is a single object now. We don't have to go through the whole hierarchy and everything. And can and then sweep. And I keep it. Why not? So and now. Yeah, the UV weapon is <laughs> still nothing. But but uh, I wanted and then it is good to show you that this this. Uh, but uh, we I needed this uh, single object. I go now from the in, on my texture deck from UV mapping. I go to spherical mapping. Here looks the first case not so nice. Then we click right click on this uh, uh, texture deck and go to fit to object. Here we can go to yes. Why not? Okay. Not exactly what I want, but, but it's okay. Okay, let's see what's wrong here. It's not exactly what I expected, but we can play it, there's no problem. I need a spherical mapping, I, ca I can't work with the cubic, my cubic mapping would look... Something is wrong here. Just without bump. Yeah, no, of course, the, 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 the bump was too high here. <laughs> Good. Yeah, that looks much better. <laughs> we can it can take some bump later on, but but not so much. How high was the bump here? Yeah, three hundred and ten. Uh, crazy. Is this? Uh, oh, this is the, the texture, the texture of mine. Oh, sometimes I'm crazy. Yes, 20, okay, so now I want it uh, the inside darker and then the outside uh, I want brighter, lighter, whatever, color. So I go to my color channel and uh, here, if it's, uh, if you're yeah, you get this texture. So uh, you need to, to, to start with a layer because we need more layers. So, okay, this is the first one. Here I want uh, a little darker one. So uh, let's say this will be our tip later, this lighter one. We need another shader and, and layer shader down here. Here and I put the same big uh, bitmap in like I have here. So I go here, shader, bitmaps, and take the same picture. But I add here an effect and this contrast gamma, brightest contrast gamma effect, and go down with the gamma. So let's say 0.4. And now we have here a darker color. And now I want a transition between these two colors. And this transition we do with a uh, gradient. 
So I go to shader, gradient. Between these two, of course now we see nothing in front of, uh, uh, of our gradient, so we go from normal, we want to make a layer mask. And now you see, we get a transition from one color to the other. And here we go again to spherical. And this is wrong here. And you see, okay, we have something we could use. Let's uh, invert this node. So go right click on this gradient and invert the nodes. Now we have some something dark inside and outside bright. No circle. Okay, now we have to invert the nodes again. <laughs> and go. Dark one, here we see. Get something like this. And here, let's play. Yeah, that's, that's it. And I want a little turbulence, let's say 25. Get nice turbulence here. And maybe I want this, this radius of this bigger so we have not so this edge is not so light and here I want uh, something like the gradient something like here that it, it starts and light with 300 and uh, go back here a little bit minus 20 Minus ten Okay. Oh, it does not change much, but a little bit. I think it's okay. Maybe with less octaves. Okay, and here we can play with the seed too. Okay. That's the texture for the first one. And now we need, uh, uh, because we have everywhere an, another size, so we need for each one another texture. But it's no problem. We uh, just copy this texture here and let's, we have, uh, let's name this one. If we know which texture is which. Copy the texture here. Name it O2 and copy this texture to this one. So just uh, select the texture tag here, control key and drag it up so that we have the same settings for this uh, one. But we see we need uh, to go more outside here. So and now I go with my O2 texture exactly over this stack here and you see this this arrow with the plus sign and now release it and now we have this O2 material here and now we can play with this one just go in our car channel on the layer go to our gradient and go with the gradient a little right you see okay and again, we copy this one, just control, drag, double click on it and name it 03, copy this one here to here, and drag this 03 over 
this one. Okay, and again, go to the layer here, to the gradient. And if you think that the tips are too bright or something else, you can change this every time. You go into the layer, and uh, here with the bright bitmap, you can go down with the color, uh, with, with the density of this, and you get a darker. You see, you get a darker. Oh, it looks looks better. Looks, looks better, yes, of course. Let's do this the other two. <laughs> Whoops. Okay. And here the same. Oops. Yes, okay, I like it. <coughs> so the next one. Copy this texture, so control click, control drag. 04 copy this one oops to this one and drag the 04 texture over the 04 layer okay here we don't have to do something I think that's okay but it's every time it's good you have your own uh, textures for each thing, so you can change everything. You can make, uh, I don't know, an LSD coin, uh, uh, LSD pine cone with what, whatever colors. <laughs> for this, I show you later. Uh, that is <laughs> show it later something that can make the make it fun. So. Okay, copy this one, whoop, o 05, copy this one to here, drag the o 05 to the o 05, and uh, maybe let's go ahead out to here so okay and if it does not fit with this gradient you you, you can't go to the edge you just play here with with this uh, setting. Uh, so, next one, O oh, six. Okay, copy this one to here. O oh, six over O oh, six. Nice, nice, nice. I like this texture. Ooh, looks very nice. But of course, that's nothing for close-ups. Uh, okay, if you put enough effort, as I said, if you put enough effort, enough effort in it, so you can make it very, very nice. Of course, you can show me what re uh, uh, results. It would, would be nice if you show me your results in the in the comments or or on my Facebook site or somewhere. I, w I would love to see what you do, what you guys do. I'm sure you are not so lazy as me. <laughs> So, and the last one, seven. Whoop, 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 and whoop. Okay. That's our pine cone, and I think it's nice. It's, it's really nice. 
Uh, yeah, you see, we don't we don't see the spaces bit in between, so we don't need this, this cylinder for the. Okay. And now, of course, we can play with it. Let's say I want the want middle one. Or Let's take just one out of here. Then number four. And if we want some, yeah, let's make for the four and an other another uh, texture for the moment. So copy it and four one is okay. And I want for the four. I don't want this texture here. I want it just on one leaf. So on a sweep. And I show you how you can make, uh, make it with the sweep. And on the sweep now, we go to our layer and here we add a an, an shader. And we add a variation shader. Go to effects, variation shader. And you will see what we get. <laughs> we get an, uh, for each leaf we get another color. Okay, now you can of course, you can go here to multiply. You see we get another tip color for each one. And if we put this... Uh, now so... Yeah, so you <laughs> see it better. This is uh, so much fun. And yeah, here you can uh, randomize your colors, however you want, uh, on object. Yeah, here on object, and uh, object here you can just, that's okay, everything. But if you just want to make, uh, for, ex for example, uh, the darkness of each leaf uh, a little different. Uh, that, uh, so you can uh, go here to the random colors and say, no, no random colors. I just want a gradient, a black white gradient. Oh, come on, black white gradient. Gradient blend, yes. And now, here from normal to replace. And now we go back here. From multiplayer. We can go to overlay, I think. And you get for each, uh, it is a little hard to see here without lights and something. You get a slightly different uh, uh, brightness of, of each one. See, this is darker, this is higher, uh, brighter, this is that. So you can play, but this is, uh, I just wanted to show you this for the. For the fun here, for the for these ones. <laughs> oh yes. Uh, yeah. Okay. So you can play with this. You can make. <laughs> Yes, okay. Let's say this, this is for today. And yeah, I wish you a nice Sunday. I hope you liked this tutorial. It was like a little ex... Uh, ex what, what can I say it? Uh, experiment. <laughs> but I think uh, our, re our result is quite nice. So we can go with this back here. So, and come on here. And don't forget about this nice selection object. That can you that can help you really a lot. You have seen it in the sweeps and something else. It's, it's this very helpful feature. 
Okay. So as I said, bye bye. Have a nice Sunday and uh, yeah, hope to see you in the next tutorial. And yeah, nothing more to say. Okay, bye bye. Tschüss und baba.